Consider this as an 8-bit register into which we're storing the following number. Now each position in the register has a position coefficient, a position value. So for this register we can see that that position represents 1, this represents 2, 4, this one represents 8. Now all of these store 0, so therefore all of those positions are 0. Now if we add all of those up, what we can see is we get the result of 15, 15 in our number system. So this binary pattern here represents 15, and I put a little 10 there to remind us we're dealing with uh, deanery, or decimal if you prefer. Now the key for unsigned binary numbers is that every position in the register has a value. Every position. We need to remember that because when we go on to do signed numbers, we will see that the most significant position doesn't have a position coefficient. It represents a sign. But here we're dealing with unsigned. So every position in the register has a value. Let's consider the same register, but this time let's fill it with zeros. Now, every position has a position value, as you can see here. But, of course, every bit is worth zero in this particular case. So, all of that is zero. So, when everything is zero, as you can see here, it obviously represents zero. Now, in this particular case, let's fill the register with ones. Every position has a one. So we can see in the top here, we're showing the position values or the position coefficients. So that's worth 128, that's worth 64, that's worth 32, that's worth 16, that's worth 8, 4, 2, and 1. Now we add all of these up. And of course, when we add all of these up, we get 255. So when all 1s are in an 8-bit register, it represents the number 255. And there's a little 10 there to remind us we're dealing with decimal. So we can see that we can go from 0 to 255, and that's the range of unsigned binary numbers that can be represented by 8 bits. Here we can see we have got two 16-bit registers, and the top register is filled with all zeros, and the bottom register is filled with all ones. And we can see the position values for each of the bits, starting at 1, going all the way up to 32,768. We can see for the top register that every position has a zero in it. Consequently, the top register represents zero. For the bottom register, we can see that every bit stores a one. Consequently, we can see that the final value for this particular representation is 65,535. Therefore, the range of values that can be stored in 16 bits is zero to 65,535. Now, 8-bit patterns can give 2 to the 8 combinations of binary patterns, and 2 to the 8 is 256. 16 bits gives 2 to the 16 combinations of binary patterns, and 2 to the 16 is 65,536. And 32 bits gives 2 to the 32 combinations of binary patterns, which gives us this big number here. 8 bits gives a range from 0 to 2 to the 8 minus 1, which is from 0 to 256 minus 1, which gives the range 0 to 255. The key here is to realise that the biggest number in the range is 1 smaller than the number of possible combinations in the 8 bits. 16 bits gives a range from 0 to 2 to the 16 minus 1, which is from 0 to 65,536 minus 1, which gives us this range here, 0 to 65,535. And again, we can see that the largest number in the range is one smaller than the number of combinations that 16 bits give us. 32 bits gives a range from 0 to 2 to the 32 minus 1 which gives us this range here. And we take 1 from the number of possible combinations that 2 to the 32 bits gives us, which is this range here. You have a go at working out what is the range for 64 bits. 